and we're back to learning GIMP and this time I'm going to show you how to add a light source to photos. Got the original right here, you will find that in the description link below. I click on this icon to copy it, let me rename it. Make sure that this layer, so the copy is selected. Then we'll go to filters, light and shadow and you will find the lighting effects there. Click on it. This menu should pop up. Normally you should see a dot, if you don't see it, just go to light and then change the settings to light 1 and there's this blue dot and you can drag it around right here and you can see the light source. Let's get back to options. The distance determines the intensity in this case. It starts at center and then just grows as you increase the distance. Keep these boxes unchecked. We don't need it for this tutorial. As I've said, we've got presets right here. But just start with light 1. Intensity, let me increase it to 10. And you can see it's very intense. And you can change the color. And with the high intensity, you can see it very clearly. Let me stick to white and I'll go down with the intensity again to 1. Change the position right here as well numerically, but just click on the blue dot and drag it around to do it in the image itself. There are also different presets for type, just none. Direction is more like a linear gradient, you could say. When you use direction as a type, the distance looks a little bit different. So when you increase it, the gradient might go too far outside of your image so that you don't see anything at all anymore. So don't go too high with this one. Something like this should be fine. Under material, you can adjust the details of this effect. For example, if I increase the glowing, it looks like this. And there's also a metallic box to check. We don't need the bump map or the environment map. We can basically add more advanced effects. For a simple light source, we don't need that. So let me get back and I confirm it be okay. It might take some time to get processed, but here it is. And as we've copied it, we can now play around with the opacity of this layer and adjust this light source that way on top. And this is how you can add a light source to photos in GIMP. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.